hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl maxi and today we are going to be fitting this wig if you remember we made it last week and today it's the styling part so i already have it on and i don't like the parting the way it looks it has this transparent looking kind of look and i want it to look as natural as possible and that's why i'm going to be applying a concealer that is close to my skin shade so that girl you can fool them that this is braided to a scalp and it's not a wig <laughs> so as you can see already this concealer is doing a good job like tell me this is not my hair tell me this is not my hair like tell me this is not braids that are on my head because i can't tell the difference this concealer is doing a fantastic job so i'm just going to apply until i'm satisfied with the result like oh girl that's too much so i'm just going to like take a piece of cloth and wipe off the excess concealer to make it look as natural as possible So you just continue cleaning it until you get your desirable look. You don't want the concealer on your braids. You don't want it appearing anyhow. You don't want no mess, girl. So I think it's good enough. And girl, hmm, this is no wig. This is braids for my scalp. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Did I do a good job with this? So I'm satisfied with the results. Let's start with the with the styling and something is on my eye. Like I hate that feeling. So here's the parting. I like it. I'm feeling it, girl. <laughs> oh, I really, really, really love this wig. Like I'm just going to start making as many wigs as possible because this was the first attempt and I think I nailed it. So I'm just going to adjust this cap. Uh, as you notice, this is supposed to be a middle parted wig, but I just don't like the middle part. I don't usually think they look good on my face, so I'll try soon. But um, I just make it on my side. I just slant it and scoop it on the side and you're good to go. So the first style is I'm just going to take a piece of my one side and roll it then I'm going to be taking a bobby pin and just pin it there and then take this other side and make it flat so we have one side <coughs> sorry so we have one side that is uh, rolled and the other one that is flat So I'm just going to take a scrunchie, remove the baby pin that I had used to secure this rolled side and just use a scrunchie to tie the two, two sides to make them look good. Yes! Yes, girl! Yes! So let us put some earrings and see how this look goes. Ooh! Ooh! I like it! <laughs> I really love this style like girl I'm not going to be rocking this wig like I didn't know it will look as good as it does but girl I love it so we are on to the next so on this one I'm just going to be rolling both sides so I'll roll this side and I'll roll the other that's the only difference in this second style So as you can see, there's not that much of a difference, but 
it just brings another flavor into it and makes it look good this one was really giving me a hard time i don't know why but with styling you don't expect everything to appear automatically every time So I'll just take my bobby pin and just pin on the hair. Ooh, I look like I have a crown. <laughs> so I'm also going to wear earrings. And yeah, I love, love, love this look, guys. So between one and two. So between one and two, like, which one is your favorite? I think I like. I kind of like both of them. 50-15. Yeah, I like both of them. So you tell me in the comment section like which one you like most. So I'm going to number three. So with this one, I'm just going to take some pieces of hair from the back and just use a scrunchie to hold them together. Like this is the simplest style and I like it because it's chic, it's simple and anyone can easily pull it off as simple as that and you are out the door you're going to do your business <laughs> yeah so i like like this too so we are already done three styles you're going to the fourth one On this fourth one, I'm just going to do the half up, half down style by taking some pieces of hair. It's almost like the one that we've done before, but with this, you're taking the top part, you're taking some pieces of hair from the top, and you're just going to hold it to the scrunchie. This is also very simple, very cute, very chic, so it can be done with everyone and it literally takes like a minute yeah to 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 have this style up and going Taking my scrunchie, I'm going to just tie that piece of hair behind and you're done. Always ensure that you hide your spaces, your front spaces, so that no one can see uh, the gaps and easily notice that you're having a wig on. Like right now, I think this is my hair. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, so I think this style is also nice and chic. So, always remember to put your pattern in place, make it as clean and as chic as possible. Yeah, I can't get enough of this wig, like, I'm just goofy. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm just loving, 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 loving this pattern and I cannot stop to gush over it. So, we're just going to, like, put this hair on the side, like, we're going to make it swoop more on the left side then i'm just going to pull it on the side this is a more elegant uh type of style that you can do it for a dinner that you can do it when you're going to church yeah it's simple and it's elegant so this hair is quite a lot and i've learned a lot from making this wig the next ones, they're going to be bomb because now I've learned the few tips and tricks to ensure that you have the kind of wig that you want. So now I'm just going to use a scrunchie to hold this hair together on the side. Yo, I have big hands. That's how I'm able to hold this hair together. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to like tie it together and ensure that it's neat using some pieces of bobby pins so 
so i'm just ensuring that everything is in place so that it becomes as good as possible most of the hair had just like rolled themselves the the scrunchie wasn't big enough but we made it work so i'm just going to take a piece of hair from the bottom separate it from the rest then i'm just going to roll it around the anchor i don't know what to call it but to roll it around the rest of the braids i'm also going to take the other remaining pieces and just roll them together i think this is self-explanatory when you just watch you just get what i'm saying explaining is hard girl explaining is hard our teachers did a very good job <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just going to take my bobby pin and pin all the other pieces together so that we can ensure that our hair is safe. We don't want unraveling of the hair. So I'm also going to take a bobby pin and pin this other side of hair because I don't want the um the pieces of braids to be sticking out on my face as i told you this is a more elegant look and you don't want the hair to be covering your eye you want to have a serious conversation you want to have attention yeah so just tuck it away with a bobby pin and you're good to go so I'm going to take my elegant earrings and put them on. Where is that gown, girl? Where is that gown? Where is that cute dress to just match this whole look? So look at me. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Yes, girl. Like, let me tell you, I've enjoyed this video. Hope you have to. Hope to see you on my next ones because I'm trying to be throwing good stuff. I love you all. Let's meet on our next one. Bye.